to return to the Las Vegas Raiders in the 23 NFL season. As you guys know, Josh Jacobs is in a fifth year slash free agent option going to the end of the season. Actually, I think he's an unrestricted free agent. Now, he can't get franchise tagged for $10 million and be forced to stay in Vegas. But earlier this season, he was obviously very unhappy with the situation in Vegas. He says he comes in and works his ass off day in and day out, and the results are just not there. Derek Carr has since been benched. He's probably going to be out of Vegas. We'll see what happens there. Jarrett Sinem possibly is the future, or Aaron Rodgers. We'll, we will see what happens there. But when we, when we look at the running back free agent market, there are four or five teams that come to mind that could really use a running back. First team that comes to mind is the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons are a complete rebuild mode. Yes, they have uh, number 88, his name, uh, Cordo Patterson, right? Uh, he is not the guy, right? The Falcons could use a running back. Carolina Panthers, they traded CMC, and they've been kind of doing a running back by committee, uh, being pretty successful at it, like, honestly, but they could use a running back. If we look at the Chicago Bears, that would be a pretty good fit. Justin Fields with Josh Jacobs in the back with uh, no offensive line protection. We'll see what happens. They they do have the number one overall pick. And then a few dark horse teams that could possibly come in and sneak them out of the rug. Kansas City Chiefs. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, or the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. The, the, I saw the ears perk up as soon as I said Dallas Cowboys. I see what, what, what? I get it. My producer over there says, what? Yeah, what? The Dallas Cowboys could be an excellent spot, landing spot for Josh Jacobs moving forward. Think about this. Tony Pollard is up for free agency this season. He, he is a Pro Bowl running back right now. He is arguably the best running back on on his team right now, but he is the most underpaid. He is going to warrant some money in the end, 15, 16, 17 million dollars. There are going to be some teams out there like I just mentioned, the Falcons, Panthers, Bears, Buccaneers, Chiefs that could that that that, that could reach out for his services. So think about this one two punch, Josh Jacobs and Zeke Elliott in the backfield. Do you think that Josh Jacobs will be willing to take a $10, $12 million payday to go play with the Dallas Cowboys? The Super Bowl champions Dallas Cowboys after the 2023 NFL season is over. Think about that. That could be a very, very dangerous duo. Oh, but maybe, just maybe, Zeke won't be there. Maybe Zeke could get traded off to the Las Vegas Raiders. Or the Panthers, the Bears, the Falcons. Chicago Bears fans, think about this. Number one overall pick for Zeke Elliott and somebody else. Would you do that? We'll talk about Combs about that. But Josh Jacobs to the Dallas Cowboys makes the most sense to me in this offseason. So he he can fluff it up all, 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 all he wants. He says he would lo- hopeful to return to the Raiders, but it has to make sense. Just a couple weeks ago, he was pissed off that he was... Working his ass off and not getting anything in return. Come on, baby. Josh Jacobs to the two, the Dallas Cowboys. It is going to happen. It's got to happen. Josh Jacobs, you want return on your investment? Go to the Cowboys. Go to the Chiefs. Yes, he probably doesn't. I mean, I, I, Chiefs are kind of, of a long shot. But they, they've done the dumber things. They like that veteran running back. Josh Jacobs to the to the Cowboys guys, that is, that is not an overreaction at all. It's not. Make it happen, Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, Mike McCarty. Make Check it happen, that man baby. Hour clip. If you're interested in the next video, click the link right here. Of course, subscribe right here, and always join us Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. East Coast time, right here where you're watching this clip. And as always. Man, our nation, rise up.